Hello guys and welcome back to SSDP. In today's video, we are back on the Domecraft server. Um, I currently, as I'm recording this, I don't know what episode this is. Because, well, this episode's going to take quite a while to record. So, um, as you can see, Obsidian there, Obsidian on there, Obsidian on the beacon. Um... Because we are actually going to be using redstone machines to absolutely decimate the end. What? So, um, I guess, so first of all, this up area here will be, we'll be using, uh, boring machines to, like, bore out the whole top area of the nether, and we're gonna need to do that twice. To then build the uh, world eaters. So, I mean, I guess let's get straight into this video. Yeah! Oh no, that's bad. That's dangerous. Oh god. <laughs> okay, guys. So, I am joined with. I'm joined with. I'm joined by Zeta, this kid here. And we are about to start working on the thing on the first few boring machines but so basically I've dug all the way uh, down here which is where we need to so basically this is the furthest point and we we're gonna be mining out this whole area and it's basically this and all the way that way as well so my recording decided to freeze for basically a whole 30 minutes. I can't show you me building building the machine, which is really annoying. <sighs> okay, so basically long story short, we we built the farm. We built the world eater, and basically, for some reason, that also didn't want to work. <laughs> so we we tried for a very long time to try fix it. Basically, here I guess is some footage of me fixing it because I do eventually fix it after realizing in a test world that we had basically just built the thing in the wrong like we put some observers in the wrong place but basically we we built it the wrong way and yeah that was fun. Okay, guys, so I managed to fix the boring machine. Um, it took a while to figure it out, a lot of rebuilding the linking area. But it turns out that all that happened was these, like, four observers were pointing the wrong way. So, if we just do this, TNT gets launched blows up, destroys the thing, we then hit it again, TNT gets launched, blows up, destroys, and you just keep on doing that, and it gradually destroys the wall. So, yeah, that's uh, that. Um, yeah, I guess, let's do it one more time, because, why not? So it takes about two blocks off at a time, which I mean, oh, okay. Which I mean is pretty good, and I mean, this is, I guess, an upside to this. You might also find yourself some ancient debris in that. So, 
So, yeah. Let's get on with the rest of the video. Which is most likely going to be time lapse of just destroying everything. So, yeah. And after a little bit of, after a few days or so of total work, this is what it now looks like. We have the whole top area fully done. So, we've got to do this one more time for the whole area, and then, so it, it's like, uh, deeper again, then we can actually build the world eaters in that. But you may have noticed in that time lapse how there was footage of me jumping off the edge of the nether. Well. Basically, I did that because I forgot to put my elytra off, and I thought I had it on, and I went to do this, but my elytra never deployed, so I died and used the totem. Um, but, I mean, it's okay, I'm, I'm, I'm still here. But, but yeah, so, well, now, um, so, when, when we're done with all this, we're not just going to leave the nether looking like this, like, the top of the roof like that. We actually want to, uh, cover, well, we want to place some blocks up there. And we were thinking of doing it with black concrete. So, we're going to need a lot of black concrete. And we're also going to need a lot of sand, gravel, and black dye. So, we currently have a lot of those things because... Well, Big Boy H Man, he has a squid farm and he let us use it to get the black dye as long as he could have some for his base because he, he his base isn't finished yet. Um and I mined out a lot of gravel and Zeta also helped me mine out a lot of gravel along with a lot of sand. So I actually time lapsed a all of that apart from well, I time lapsed um, getting the uh, sand and gravel, not getting all of it, but getting a bit of it. So, yeah, but I didn't uh, time lapse actually getting 
getting the ink sacks now because I didn't think I needed to. Um, but yeah, so I guess here's the time lapse. Probably. Okay, so we are now at this secret location with all of the resources um, to make all the concrete powder and that. So I'm just going to, uh, I'm just going to uh, start to make, um, uh, well I'm going to make the actual concrete powder itself and then I'll wait for when Zeta decides to to come back um, and we can actually record because he has been absent for many I don't know he, he's just like dying or something when i can uh, get zeta we will uh we'll actually turn it into concrete we will need all of this but we're going to have to go for a another sand and gravel mining session to get all of the um to get the rest of the sand that we need and gravel but i mean i guess i'll be back once i've done all of this okay so this is the last batch of a uh, concrete powder we can actually make because well we are now out of sand and gravel and we only used half a chest of ink sacks so we definitely don't need to get any more ink sacks for this well not for a while at least okay guys so we are here and we are uh, going to transfer and create as much concrete as we can so this will be fun and yay <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying, but I mean, okay. Yay. And here we have the wild cedar creating concrete in his natural habitat. <laughs>
Okay, guys, so, so yeah. I am with Zeta and I'm nearly dying. And we are going to s continue placing uh, some of the the black concrete on the roof. Okay, I'm just going to start placing in some over here. This bit's the easy area because um, it looks sick, though. Yeah, this is going to be so cool, like, once we've actually cleared out the, the rest of the area. And we can actually see... Like from the bottom of the nether, we can. You know what would be really depressing is the second we start to because we've got to yeah. run the more and it just blows it all off. <laughs> yeah, that would be very not fun. But yeah, guys. So yeah. off camera, before we, uh, I mean, uh, Zeta and I are doing this, uh, we both went end busting, and I I came back with like twenty eight shulker boxes, so. I just did a little bit of stuff off camera, but here's a picture of one of the biggest end cities that I've ever seen. Hashtag editing for the boys. Wow, that's a big end city. Now you gotta make sure that it's got a fade effect in and out. I mean, I could. And just then you also do like a PowerPoint you also transition. Have to put, no, 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 no. <laughs> then you also have to put the meme um, format on it. And say, wow, that's a big end city. So make sure you do exactly what I said, okay? Uh... And keep this part in the video, too. Uh... I think, like, keeping the... Like, the one layer of bedrock exposed actually looks really cool. Oh, yeah. It gives it, like, a bit of texture. Otherwise, it would have been just, like, a void cube. Yeah. Once this is done, there's not going to be a single spot for any more. Yeah, that's the whole point of us doing this. <laughs> and actually clearing it out. Okay, guys, so... Uh, Z Zeta and I have done a whole lot of this place. As you can tell, we have nearly finished, like, this flat section. We've really only just got, like, this bit here. And then we've got to start working out there, which is going to be annoying. Very annoying. But, I mean, hey, it looks really good so far. And I can imagine how good it will look after it's all done. Um, but, yeah, so, I guess, if you guys did enjoy this video, do be sure to leave a like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more weekly videos just like this and other things as well so i'll see you next time goodbye